What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Star Trek Discovery video. After the mid-season finale left us on a big cliffhanger, this week's premiere confirmed fan theories that the Discovery and her crew were now in an alternate universe with no clear way of returning home. And not just any alternate universe, the dangerous and deadly Mirror Universe featuring the brutal and totalitarian Terran Empire, a harsh contrast with the peaceful, progressive, science-forward Federation. Casual fans might be confused, though. I mean, just what is the Terran Empire? How did it come about? How does it compare to the Federation? And what do we already know about it from the other shows we've seen it in? To start with its origins, nobody really knows how the Terran Empire first began. But there are several hints from previous Trek series, especially Enterprise, that hint that the origins of the Empire go further back than you would actually expect. By the time of Enterprise in 2155, the Mirror Universe version of Captain Archer notes that the Empire has been around for centuries, suggesting that the Terran Empire stretches back before even our time in that universe. In fact, one theory suggests, with pretty solid evidence, that the Terran Empire is just a continuation of the Roman Empire. We actually see evidence of this in Enterprise specifically, as Archer at one point prays to the gods, but also in other aspects throughout different series, like the fact that Terran is derived from the Latin for Earth, Terra, and the Imperial Salute is very similar to Roman soldiers' and gladiators' salutes. But beyond a murky origin, the Empire reached for the stars even before we did in our timeline, landing on the moon, referred to as Luna, in 1955. But they remained relatively bound to our solar system until first contact. Zephram Cochran was the first human to achieve warp speed flight, which attracted the attention of the Vulcans as normal. However, taking their approach as a sign of invasion, in this universe, Cochran killed the Vulcans and stole their ship's technology, leading to a quantum surge in the Empire's technical capabilities. From here, they began a brutal military campaign across the galaxy, and by the 23rd century, they had conquered several species, including the Vulcans, Andorians, and others, and had even attacked the Klingon Empire. By this time, though, the xenophobic empire was already struggling to maintain their territory throughout the galaxy, facing rebellion from a united alliance of the Vulcans, Andorians, Klingons, and even more aliens, who were isolated and alienated as subjugated creatures in the empire itself. That's more or less where the universe stands when we get to the era of Star Trek Discovery. The Empire controls most of known space, having survived some earlier instability in the Enterprise era, but they're trucking along at this point, at least until we get to Emperor Spock. How exactly does the Empire differ from the Federation? Well, the difference is pretty much night and day, really. It's black and white, uh, you know, as, as sharp a contrast as you'll find in fiction in general, let alone science fiction. Where the Federation is peaceful and tolerant, the Empire is brutally violent and xenophobic, with upward advancement in Starfleet mostly dependent on murdering one superior officer. The Empire is a web of shadows, intrigue, and deception. In a culture where power and strength is valued above all else, coups and plots for power are a daily occurrence. I mean, torture is also extremely common and embraced within the Empire for political political enemies. Whatever the Discovery crew does, they likely won't bring down the Empire forever. I mean, not only does it survive until the original series, it also remains for some time beyond that before falling and rising again by the late 24th century. Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought of last night's episode and what you hope to see from Discovery's take on the Terran Empire, but that's gonna do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw, subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. For even more content, check out our website at hybridnetwork.com IT.com. And if you love HN and want to take your support to the next level, consider donating to us on Patreon as we strive to bring you the best content possible. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.